I am Dr. Bina Jaising, Senior Consultant Obstetrician and Laparoscopic Gynecologist at Columbasia Hospitals on Sarjapur Road. I have special interest in management of high-risk pregnancies and laparoscopic gynec surgeries. Placental abruption is a condition which is a premature separation of the placenta from the lining of the uterus. As we all know, placenta, we can call it the lifeline for transport or transfer of nutrients and oxygen from the mother to the baby. And this placenta, during the normal process of labor, gets separated and expelled after the baby is born. But unfortunately, in a condition called placental abruption, this happens even before the baby is delivered or even when the baby is inside the uterus. This condition normally occurs in the third trimester of pregnancy but it can happen anytime after 20 weeks of pregnancy and the overall incidence of placental abruption during pregnancy is about 1%. So who are the women who are at high risk for placental abruption? Women at 35 years of age and above who are carrying more than one fetus namely a twin pregnancy or a triplet pregnancy who have hypertension complicating pregnancy or who develop pregnancy induced hypertension or preeclampsia if there is an incidence of abdominal trauma during pregnancy be it motor vehicle accident or domestic violence or an assault when there is a previous history of abruption in the previous pregnancies in the current pregnancy again if she goes through condition called chorioamnonitis, which is nothing but infection of the uterus and its lining of membranes, or there is a premature rupture of the membranes, wherein there's a water breakage and leak much before the onset of labor. And especially this condition is there for about 24 hours or more. And when there is a uterine abnormality, shape of the uterus is different. In all these conditions, the woman is at an increased risk of developing placental abruption. But not to forget, even women who smoke and who have the issue of having substance abuse, namely cooking, are at very high incidence of developing placental abruption. There is even a study which has quoted the incidence to be as high as 40%.